Week Review. If you can't know what that is, welcome. This is the first video of Week Review where I travel, review Pokemon Week and whatever more that are week. And this was pretty much. I know people are gonna be like, wow, you're copying Ruffle Rowlet. Wow, because you're playing with Ruffle, now you're gonna feel his ideas. I caught you to do it over here today. You could, it, I'm fine with it, so I will do it however I want it. And I'm gonna make it accurate with a quick. So, yeah, I'm gonna make it more entertaining. Hey. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the week called Pokemon. Generation 8 starters. Yes, there's so many Generation 8 starters out there. But there's one that I haven't revealed today. And I want to tell you that this week might be a real starter. Especially when Pokemon Day is tomorrow. Pokemon Direct is tomorrow. And there's known, there's like known for people leaking up before it was revealed. And hint the Sun and Moon Pokemon Sun and Moon name were revealed the day before the week before the week. I meant the red I mean. So it kinda makes sense that the starter got revealed. So let me take let Kate will add it. So the starter we have here is a grass mole. Um some weird grass mole right here. Then we had the fire sheep and then we had this water bear looking thingy. And I'm gonna go buy each one of them. Let's go with the grass type, okay? At first glance, they all look like so a bit so. Okay, let's say it will add the grass type right here. The grass type is like a mole, like a mole grass thingy. But, to me, at first when I would add it, I thought it was gonna be a grass round type. It seems grass round type. Because because it's like all brown and then it was green and then had a green cut like a normal black height would do. Same thing how Cat Man was. I thought Cat Man was grass wild when I first saw it. But no, it currently is grass fighting type. So apparently to the leaf, the grass harder is going to be a grass steel type Pokemon. So it's something I guess it Unique, but the only problem with the Grass Steel type read is gonna be four times weak against Fire type Pokemon. And that means it's gonna be very hard using a Grass type Pokemon when you're going against um, the starter, the Fire Starter, I guess. But I personally, I don't really like the Grass type that much because it could look very. Yes, it looked like a grass type bird and a grill bird. That was good. I don't even like grill bird to start with. And the grill would cool enough, but grill bird is eh. But, it's what it is, I guess. But our next, our next starter Pokemon is, let me, what the fuck? Go get the fire starter Pokemon over here. The start fire type Pokemon is a fire lamb, fire sheep, or whatever it is. It's supposed to be based on the code, the tiny Zodiac where we always have like it's gonna be 12 starter Pokemon, 12 virus starter Pokemon gonna be based on the tiny Zodiac. We got the rag and we got the rat, we got the box, we got the um, I don't know, oh the monkey, and then we got the I don't know, In, oh Kyger, that's another thing. And there's one more. And Pit. There's two more. Oh, there's another one, but I'm too ready to give it to me number the yak one, okay? But this one's supposed to be based on a key. My opinion, I like it. It was cool. I love it, to be honest. And I have like other people saying, oh, it was cool. It's another five, it's another five Pokemon where you only stand on two ways. But I think it's gonna be hand on board when you find finally evolve. Who knows? But I would say I like it. I really like the fire type. And they think the K 
typing going to be a fire steel kite? Not steel. <laughs> fire kite. Oh my god, I'm going to go back. Fire fairy kite. Fire fairy kite, Pokemon. I would say fire fairy was... It's good, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's good. I don't know why fire fairy. But that's what it's going to be. And it, um, I'm trying to think what to say. It's fire fairy. I don't know what to say. It's because it, see, it was cool. That's all I think. There's nothing I will say anything about it. Our final Pokemon, the water type starter, is a bear. This bear Pokemon is very hard. Because first you would see it and I'd be like, oh what, a water ice type Pokemon. That's what we all think. Very cute and adorable looking. I like it personally. But the thing is with this Pokemon specifically is that I would say it could be, it could be very weird that it have eight legs. It had eight legs, look like spiders. Why does it need eight legs? That's where I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know why it's eight legs, but they wanted to have eight legs. But, with like, can I look over them all one more time? Just to like figure out. The Sigli Mori are for each. I can wait, did I even say the water type typing? Oh yeah, the water type's gonna be water poison. Yep, water poison. I like it. I like the typing. It's unique. I want water poison, Carter, to be honest. And the thing is that all the Carter Pokemon is based on hero, heroes and feelings. So, this reason is supposed to be good burger bad pretty much, I guess. That's what the Carter is. The hero is the grass type Pokemon that's supposed to be the hero. That's why it's gonna be a Kyo Kite. Because Kyo Kite is super up, not super up, but it can't um, poison Kite. But poison Kite can't get heal. Why am I making a poison Kite? I will explain. So, pretty much, the grass type is the hero. Where he currently like, maybe like a sword man, maybe he's gonna have a sword. It's gonna be like a knight or something. But more hero at with it. Just like a knight, like armor maybe. Who knows? Um, our fire type Pokemon is a, they call it Mythico. So it's like the fairy, it's like the little fairy support and he will go like, um, you ever play Zelda, you would remember Nobby? Nobby is like a little fairy support. So I think that was the same, the fire type Pokemon supposed to be the hero support Pokemon. I guess. And our water type Pokemon is the villain. The big bad of all three. And they said the final evolution is gonna look like very evil, very villain like, and stuff like that. Cool. I thought that was cool, okay? I thought they were cool. And, one final thing before I would end the video is comparing them with the actual Silky Mori art with the others. Because I have seen the art style and they're like very close to Silky Mori. But some people point out with like, well, the lines are not right or this or that. And it's not going to the same. And I'm over here like, it's very close to the Gen 7 artwork. Sure, it might not be Silky Mori himself, but it's gonna be like some of the people that were on it. And Silky Mori gonna draw everything of Pokemon. There's other artists that draw like the Silky Mori camera style, but not actually Silky Mori. But the grad type, when we were at the grad type, it was very close to like the actual Silky Mori. It was very close to, to the Tech man, because it's way up with like Tech man, but the mold version. That's how I see it. 
when I would add the shading, let me cut the shading real quick. Yeah, the shading is not, it's very close. It had that little catcher, and normally they had catcher for like Bulbasaur and stuff like that. So it, it, it does have catcher, it just makes it look more realistic. That's the issue. Uh, the next one is the fire type Pokemon. Okay. I would say fire type for yeah, because we're gonna want it's it's lightning to do with the fire type. But the water type. The water type people said that it's not real because the water type Pokemon lines are very smooth and normally Suki Mori art lines are very like <clears throat> very like rugged and like not smooth. And if we compare that to Rowlet, Rowlet lines are very smooth. Like, it's like very smooth and it's big with the water, the water guy looks so much like Rowlet. Okay, what, yeah. That's what I'm saying, the water guy has the same art style as Rowlet. And now the fire type Pokemon. Here's where everybody keeps me pumping because of the fire type Pokemon. Because here's the one, there's the one from the fire type Pokemon. When you have fire type Pokemon, the wines are thin over here, but it's very thick out here. Why is it so thick around these? And everybody keeps me walking, wow, these wines are super thick comparing to all the others. But the inside are very thin, it's not like Suki Mori. And here's what I'm gonna say. That. That's where it's getting me confused with, because the wines are just very confusing with me. So, my rating for these is easily, um, I would say the starter, mmm, oh, um, 8 Woko out of 10, 8 Shower Woko out of 10, because it looks very realistic. I'm not saying 5, because come on. The archive is very good. Six, archive was good. Seven, no, the archive still was good. Eight, that sounds good. Why right there? Eight sounds perfect. Nine, no, the archive is a bit off. So I would say eight is the rating. I would say eight out of ten. I don't know what the others gonna rate it. If you wanna rate the Carter? Hit rate it down below. What you think? You think it's gonna be real? And you think it's fake? Either one. What do you think? Do you like the Carter? Do you like the Carter typing? You gonna like it? What you want the Carter be? Comment down and make sure to subscribe for more. And overall, see ya next time.